be in northern New South Wales. Um, once I finished school, went to the UK, came back and moved up north to play in the Brisbane grade competition uh, for the Gold Coast Dolphins. Spent a few, few years there. Um, my cricket path went a little bit differently to what most people do. I concentrated on my career outside of cricket uh, when I was about 21. I spent four, four and a half years with KPMG in Brisbane, uh, working in the audit division, and then uh, left there and, and went and worked for a company called Walls Group, so uh, mining construction um, based up in Gladstone, um, working out of Brisbane. Uh, moved to Brisbane, kept playing for Gold Coast, so played about three, three and a half years without training, and made a fairly conscious decision um, after those three and a half years of not training to have a proper crack at cricket and moved to Brisbane and probably yeah, 12 months down the track was uh, made my debut for Queensland so it all happened fairly quickly. So accounting's fully uh, in a complete break now so 100% uh, concentrating on cricket, give it, give it a proper crack and, and see where it can get me. Um, Life after cricket, not so sure yet. Um, it'll be somewhere back in into business and accounting, and but yeah, see, see how my cricket journey goes first, and, and see where I end up after that. First class cricket kind of took off last year, and and uh, getting myself into the squad, the training requirements around training, and and when we the shield season started back after Christmas, uh, when I was selected to to go on tour, it just became a little bit too much, and it's probably a period of time leading up to that that it was always going to happen, and and then once that. Shield uh, kind of season recommenced after Christmas. Um, it, yeah, it just became a bit too much, and, and that decision was was pretty easy.